All right, we have uh, new numbers out today, and these numbers show that students across the country are not making the grade when it comes to math. So this is the program for international student assessment, and it you know comes out every so often. It shows American students saw a 13% drop compared to students in many other industrialized countries. So with that, let's bring News Nation's Laura Engel back in New York City into the conversation right now. Um, hey there, Laura. Hey, Connell. You know, we were warned this could be coming, and now the results are in. And many will remember when education professionals predicted there would likely be a learning decline at the height of the pandemic when students began taking their classes virtually. And here we are, three years later, we're seeing the effects in the first large-scale study examining the educational setbacks students in America have experienced, which also compared kids in the U.S. against our global counterparts. Now, the, the program for inter International Assessment just released their data analyzing the test scores of 15-year-olds from 37 countries across the globe. The study's primary focus was reading, math, and science, and it does reflect percentages of learning loss that are notable. Now, the U.S.'s scores now rank sixth in reading, 12th in science, and 28th in math. Most notably, U.S. students' math scores fell 13 points since the last time the assessment was administered, while the other countries saw a decline of 15 points on average. And while most of the countries on this study saw a decline of 10 points on average in reading, American stats only dropped by one point. So scores in science were relatively flat across the board, showing the U.S. falling behind two points. So we reached out to the U.S. Department of Education to see how Secretary Miguel Cardona reacted to this news. And in a statement, Secretary Cardona tells us in part, quote, if President Biden hadn't fought for the single largest investment in education in our nation's history, we'd be in the same boat as other countries who didn't make those investments and saw their rankings fall. And other experts we talked to say the pandemic cannot be blamed for the overall decline since the assessment does examine scores between 2018 and 2022. But some numbers really to chew on with this. Connell. Yeah, no doubt, Laura. Uh, good to see you, Laura Engel, back mm -hmm. in New York with us today. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.